Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 474. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up, Kotobukiya Luna and Celestia Bishojo statue delayed. So Kotobukiya has delayed both Celestia and Luna figures have... Hmm, Kotobukiya has delayed both Celestia and Luna figures have apparently... Wow! <laughs> what is that line? Kotobukiya has delayed both Celestia and Luna figures have apparently been delayed. <laughs> okay, Seth. Oh, Alright. Okay, anyway. um, Both of them are delayed. Um, in the case of Celestia, it's not a huge gap. But Luna will be moving to next year. The exact changes Celestia from September to uh, 2021 to November 2021. Ah, so it's supposed to come out this month, but it's been postponed. Luna has been postponed. Sorry, uh, Luna is uh, from November 20, uh, 2021 to February 2022. So it's next year then. Alright. This is pretty normal in the world of anime figures. They require a pretty huge investment to keep that quality bar high. Hopefully, this means they are perfect at release. Oh, okay. So, um, according to Seth, that this is kind of normal. And yeah, I know the delays are a bit sucky and whatnot. But, okay, um, I personally don't have much Kotobukiya figures and from my experience my own which I have only one and that's the um, Dark Magician Girl and sorry I, I like <laughs> I have two uh, that's the Dark Magician Girl and the um, Black Cat uh, figures um, they look perfectly fine to me I, I never took it out of the box so I don't really know how they are like if there are any flaws I, I don't see them because they're still in box so it's uh, it's a wonder why they delay it but at the same time too if they have to delay it for QC quality uh, QA sorry, uh, QA for quality assurance and whatnot that's awesome because they want the best product out there for their customers so that's all good and if it's delayed by a few, I don't really mind. It, it's one of those things where we can wait. So it's not going to be that bad. So, yeah, just have to wait a bit, guys. Let's move on to the next news. <clears throat> My Little Phone, <laughs> My Little Pony, a new generation release, sync theatrically in Singapore and two days early in Hong Kong. <clears throat> uh, apparently, theaters over in Hong Kong and Singapore will be will will both be running the My Little Pony: A New Generation movie, and in the in in the case of Hong Kong, it will be two days early compared to its Netflix release later on. Singapore will be airing it in English with Chinese subtitles, while Hong Kong will be release uh, while Hong Kong release includes a Cantonese version. We also have a general description from one of the release translation included below. Doesn't really give away major spoilers, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna read that because yeah nah no no <clears throat> but we can see that it's coming out in September twenty second. I thought this movie's coming out September twenty seventh. Where did I see that? So this is great. This is great. Um, pony movie coming out in theaters. Ah man, this reminds me of the good old days of Equestria Girl, where a movie comes out suddenly and then like, oh my god, new pony movie. Like oh, but it's Equestria Girls. And then uh, a few years later, we get the My Little Pony movie, the G4 movie in theaters, and that was hot. Oh man. 
I remember watching it and it was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. For this one. Um, okay. One of the few reasons why we're not getting a worldwide release is A. The pandemic is still going on. And B. Some places have uh, gotten better a bit. As far as I understand, if you're in Singapore, uh, the way that you're supposed to... Oh, the, the rules and regulation, if I remember right, and if I understand right, is that your you buy your ticket, you go in, and they give you a uh, strap, like you go into a, a amusement park or something like that. So uh, that's one of the things. And also, I think you need to have, uh, you need to be fully vaccinated. Um, that's two dose of whatever vaccine uh, vaccine you took except for uh, Johnson Johnson and another one which is one dose uh, so anyway um this is kind of cool this is kind of cool I personally can't wait to watch the movie and it's so close it's really close guys because what uh, right now when recording this we are on the 4th of September and Movies coming out in 20 days on Netflix and apparently uh, in Singapore and 20, 18 days in Hong Kong. So, man, this is going to be great. I, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. This is one of those things where I am, anticipate, I am anticipating this movie is going to... <laughs> For me personally, I, I feel like this movie is going to spark the interest of fans, like how G4 did. And judging by the trailers that we have, it's going to do great. It's going to, it's going to do good and whatnot. Um, my concerns of the movie will be... Well, my concerns are still there. And you know what? I, I think I should make a special podcast regarding the movie uh, reviews and thoughts and whatnot <coughs> um i'll try and get the people around who knows uh, i'll try and get a pigeon yes i'll try and get a pigeon in anyway let's move on to the next news and next news is dairy queen in mexico running an easy ice cream cone promo including lots of neat stickers so uh if you ever wonder what Easy's preferred taste is? It's apparently grape. Dairy Queen in Mexico is running a promo to celebrate the release of G5 with that awesome cone you see up there or in the picture to the side there. <coughs> uh, see, cone. Vanilla ice cream topped with glorious grape. I really hope they bring this taste over to the States because great plus ice cream combo that is severely underappreciated. And with that, there's released tons of new stickers. I pop okay, <clears throat> let's see. Ooh, that's cool. Cool. Nice. Oh, wow, okay. Movie promo stuff, yes. <laughs> Yeah, um, no, 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 what you call this? No surprise, they use assets and what happened to Hitch? He's, he's only here and, uh, um, yeah, he's only there and there's no more Hitch. Unless, oh man, the poor guy. So, okay, um, I've seen pictures on Twitter and some people are eating it and it looks good I, I guess I mean I personally don't have Dairy Queen in Malaysia and I can't vouch for the taste but some people are saying it looks good hmm? and let's move on to the last news for the week the great American cookie and marble slap creamy doing generation 5 my little pony promo <laughs> apparently Dairy Queen isn't the only place hopping on the pony bandwagon with 
a special dessert in their honor. Two sweet focus companies have also tossed up pony promos. First with the Great American Cookie Company, uh, rocking a cookie cake design and DIY set of cookies for people to decorate their own. And second with a creamy called Marble Slab with a rainbow inspired ice cream complete with waffle cone covered in sprinkles. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. I I'm just pondering. Uh, you know, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click because uh, you Americans probably know what the difference is. I got no idea, and I'm getting a O tree. Ha <laughs> ha! Man, that sucks for me. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a little black magic. Give me a second. See if this works. It should work, I guess. Okay, there we go. Mm. Okay, we're up. So, uh, let's change screens. All right. So we have. Um, let's 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 go watch the uh, Great American Cookie. So, okay, this is their style. They have. Um, customized cookies. That's cool. Ah, pig out. Okay. Um, I wonder how do you do this? Do you just buy or, or do you just order your cookie and what? Let, let's see. Maybe this. Okay, so I'm just guessing that you customize your cookie and whatnot and then they send it to you so nothing really much to do with ponies so that's a bit of a letdown but cookies are still cookies so that's great i okay texas because why not ah okay so they don't really say much so you just create your cookies customize it and then send it off to you awesome 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 and this one here, um, you make ice cream and um, no, I don't see how do, huh, can't say much, but ice cream is great. I love ice cream, I love cookies, two combinations that are great. Why not, right? And you know what, I'm at a loss because I got no idea what I'm supposed to say. Uh, not an American and the companies are not here, so I can't really say what they are. But if companies are promoting the movie release and whatnot that's good right but anywho ice cream is delicious yay and with that that is the news so let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have i been doing my week so this week has been a bit of a chaotic week um besides the whole Mm, entertainment thing. Um, been there. Been playing uh, an old game. I I've been playing Diablo three. I I've been on that itch for a dungeon crawler, and that seems to be scratching the itch. Yay! And other than that, I've been playing some Dungeons and Dragons, Fifth Ed. Uh, kind of enjoying it. I I do love the role play aspect of it. And the die rolling, and that's fun, especially if you have a group of friends to play with. And the chaotic part is that I went and how do I put it? <clears throat> I I told you guys last week that my hard drive kind of died out on me. 
and I, I remember that okay it wasn't a really big deal I saved um, I transferred most of the stuff or backup for uh, some of my stuff on a external hard drive that for my pictures and for my videos but what I didn't do was for my music and all of my music including the MBS show stuff including um, uh, outro things and whatnot like the blurb where silver plates is sound box thing uh, those are gone just gone so um, for me to get them back um, like they're, they're gone I, I didn't break them up so that sucks so I thought to myself okay this hard drive here is not getting power in there's it's not moving it's not reading so the my in my guess is that there's no power going into the device so i thought that hey how about i find a place that can do hard drive repairs and whatnot and i found one i found one not gonna say names yet until things are done and i'm happy with the results and the cost is <sighs> pro tip for you guys at home who are listening to this always back up your important uh, important files back them up in external hard disk or back them up in the cloud because if they're gone and you need to recover them it's going to cost an arm and a leg so if you have to use for example if you have to use cloud storage and it costs you thirty dollars a month or something like that for how many terabytes do consider it do do consider it because having it go away or having it just disappear and just having it put it's not a how would I put it? You'll be regretting it. Like, that's the thing that I had. Like, I, I, I regret not kind of backing up my stuff. And I am considering doing cloud storage. Not saying that I'm doing it, but I'm thinking about it. And oi, oi. I'll just say this. The money that I have to spend in recovering my files from the hard disk which may or may not succeed can uh is uh sorry um i can use that cash to go buy a switch so <sighs> yep <clears throat> so i'm crying a bit inside but if i do get the files that's great because I'm just thinking about all the created music that I gotten, like all those pony sound of sorry, pony musics from pony artists that have been that I have gathered for years. Even some that have been have retired. Uh like those music or those files I will I can't get them easily. So now I'm I, I just hope that I can get them back. Like just for the music. Like the the pictures and stuff. The music. That's those those are the things that really bothered me. But me rambling pfft, yeah. <sighs> But anywho anywho, thank you for listening to me ramble for a bit because it felt good talking about it. So anywho, let's wrap things up. <clears throat> If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the MPS show, you can email them at thembshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also, <coughs> sorry, 
Uh, and also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stay to radio and also like our Facebook page. I do realize that uh, with the podcast, you can get them almost everywhere. Uh, like Audible, um, other places. I wonder if you can get it on Spotify. Because I do remember, like, there is a chance you can listen to us on Spotify, I think. Oh man, this, this, hmm. Um, I, I, I can't find it? Oh man. Sorry, <clears throat> this is one of those things where, oh, don't go off topic. You're near the end, don't go off topic. You, you're, you're, you're going to. Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness me. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry for the derps. But it wouldn't be the MBS show without derps, would it? Ah, uh, my goodness. Ah, uh, here we go. Where were you? I don't care. <coughs> okay. Um, I don't think we are on Spotify. Oh, uh, well, that sucks. But I do remember that we are on Audible and also we are on the iTunes and other places. So, uh, do check us out over there. You know, or just copy the RS feed. Still the same. And also, oh uh, yes, let's see, let's see, let's, let's wrap things up, let's wrap things up. Uh, all links can be found in the show notes. Also do subscribe and rate us on, sorry, uh, also do uh, subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast over on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Uh, over there you can listen to me, Totera, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movie specials, and sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those are the... Comics, animes, cartoon, mangas, video games, and movies. Yes, we we like other things. Yes. So yeah, uh, do do subscribe to us there. Do listen to us. Hey, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreoncom show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Black Knight. Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll, ki- <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! <laughs>